This lesson will cover the following topics. The pre-post heating function. The injection cutoff function. The air conditioning function. The anti-percolation centralized coolant temperature management, GCTE, function. The pre-post heating function increases the temperature of the inlet air in order to reduce the combustion time for the starting phases and for operation when cold. This function uses the following components. The coolant temperature sensor. The ignition switch. The preheating warning light and the preheating unit. The heater plugs are electrical resistors. The end section of the heater plugs is located inside the combustion chamber. The power supply for the heater plugs is provided via a preheating unit. The injection computer sends a control signal to the preheating unit. The preheating unit supplies the heater plugs with power. A diagnostic line allows the preheating unit to send any faults to the injection computer. The preheating function assists engine starting by increasing the temperature of the air inside the combustion chamber. When the ignition is switched on, the injection computer analyzes the coolant temperature. The temperature of the coolant determines the duration of the preheating phase. The computer illuminates the preheating warning light and sends a control signal to the preheating unit which powers the heater plugs. At the end of the calculated preheating phase, the preheating warning light goes out. The heater plugs continue to be powered for a fixed duration after the warning light has gone out. The engine is ready to start. The post-heating function improves combustion when the engine is cold. This function contributes to emission control. During the starter motor action, the heater plugs are supplied with power. When the engine has started, the computer analyzes the coolant temperature. The temperature of the coolant determines the duration of the post-heating phase. The computer sends a control signal to the preheating unit, which powers the heater plugs. In the event of a fault on the coolant temperature sensor, the computer uses a predetermined preheating period. A fault on the preheating unit may prevent the supply of power to the heater plugs. One or more heater plugs not supplied with power may cause starting problems, especially during very cold temperatures. In this section, we covered the following points. The preheating function assists engine starting by increasing the temperature of the air inside the combustion chamber. The post-heating function improves combustion when the engine is cold. This function contributes to emission control. The heater plugs are electrical resistors. The power supply for the heater plugs is provided via a preheating unit. One or more heater plugs not supplied with power may cause starting problems, especially during very cold temperatures. The injection cutoff function is used to achieve greater engine braking when decelerating. This function uses the following components. The no load signal from the accelerator pedal position sensor. The engine speed. The vehicle speed signal from the ABS computer and the injectors. During deceleration, the computer receives the no load signal. If the engine speed and vehicle speed are above a certain value, the computer translates this as an engine braking request. The computer then cuts the supply to the injectors. If the engine speed or vehicle speed falls below a threshold value, injection is restored to maintain an idling speed. In the event of a no-load signal fault, there is no injection cutoff. A vehicle speed signal fault will stop the injection cutoff function. In contrast to petrol engines, there is no injection cutoff for engine overspeed protection. 
the computer receives the engine speed signal from the flywheel sensor. If the engine speed exceeds the programmed maximum engine speed value, the injection computer reduces the amount of diesel fuel injected in order to restrict the engine speed. In this section, we covered the following points. The injection cutoff function is used to achieve greater engine braking when decelerating. When decelerating, if the engine speed and vehicle speed are above a certain value, the computer cuts the power to the injectors. In the event of a no-load signal or vehicle speed signal fault, there is no injection cutoff. If the engine speed exceeds the programmed maximum engine speed value, the injection computer reduces the amount of diesel fuel injected in order to restrict the engine speed. The air conditioning function authorizes the operation of the air conditioning actuators under certain conditions. This function uses the following components. The air conditioning computer. The engine flywheel sensor. The full load signal sent by the accelerator pedal position sensor. The coolant temperature sensor. The air conditioning compressor clutch and the heating resistors. The injection computer receives a cold air production request from the air conditioning computer. The injection computer authorizes activation of the air conditioning compressor. The injection computer can shut down the air conditioning compressor under the following conditions. A high engine speed. A power request in the form of the full load signal or an excessive engine temperature. There is also a program for the air conditioning system heating resistors. In certain operating phases, the injection computer disables heating resistor operation. Heating resistor operation is disabled after starting the engine for a timed period depending on the engine temperature. The heating resistors are also cut if there is a high load at low engine speed. A fault on the air conditioning computer or its circuit will disable the air conditioning system. A full load signal or coolant temperature sensor fault will result in air conditioning system shutdown. In this section, we covered the following points. The air conditioning function authorizes the operation of the air conditioning compressor and the heating resistors under certain conditions. A full load signal or coolant temperature sensor fault will result in air conditioning system shutdown. Centralized Coolant Temperature Management, or GCTE, controls engine cooling. The anti-percolation function prevents hot starting faults. These functions use the following components. The coolant temperature sensor and the cooling fan assembly relay. While the engine is running, the injection computer analyzes the coolant temperature. If this temperature exceeds a certain value, the computer actuates the cooling fan assembly relay. As soon as the temperature falls back below a certain value, the injection computer stops the cooling fan assembly. The injection computer also actuates the cooling fan assembly relay when the air conditioning compressor is switched on. In the event of excessive temperature, the injection computer switches on the coolant temperature warning light on the instrument panel. Some diesel engines are equipped with an anti-percolation function. When the ignition is switched off, the injection computer analyzes the coolant temperature. If the coolant temperature exceeds a certain value, the computer assumes there is a risk of percolation. The computer actuates the cooling fan assembly relay to reduce the temperature under the bonnet. Percolation is the formation of bubbles in the fuel supply circuit due to excessive temperature. Percolation makes starting difficult. If the coolant temperature sensor is faulty, the injection computer controls the cooling fan assembly continuously while the engine is running. In this section, we covered the following points. 
Centralized Coolant Temperature Management, or GCTE, controls engine cooling. The anti-percolation function prevents hot starting faults. If the coolant temperature exceeds a certain value, the computer actuates the cooling fan assembly relay. When the ignition is switched off, the computer can actuate the cooling fan assembly relay to reduce the temperature under the bonnet. If the coolant temperature sensor is faulty, the injection computer controls the cooling fan assembly continuously while the engine is running. 